Hi, I'm Jim Zeeban, and uh, we're in at 17 Cottonwood Crescent in Fort Saskatchewan. We are in the process of building a passive house. And a passive house has two main features. One is the energy has to be under 15 kilowatt hours per square meter per year. A typical house is about 150, so about 90% uh, more efficient than an average house build. Also um, has to be fairly airtight, so we have to be under 0.6 air changes per hour. A typical North American house is somewhere between um, two and three air changes per hour. So this is how we built our walls. The walls for the, uh, the uh, building envelope are 16 inches thick and they consist of a, a, a stud assembly. So we used a 2x4 and a 2x6 attached together with 3 8 inch OSB. That was our stud assembly. And then in between we packed it with Roxol insulation. Roxol gives us a four, R14 for a 2x4 stud. So we have three layers of, of uh, R14 plus one layer of R22 giving us a total of R64. Then on the inside, instead of using poly, we used 5 h inch OSB, which acts as our air barrier, vapor barrier. The windows are high efficiency windows. They're triple glazed, argon filled. They have an R value of about R8, R9. Uh, the main feature of these windows are they are very um, energy efficient and they seal very tightly. The glazing on the window is meant to actually generate energy in your house from solar gain. So these windows over a year will actually warm up the house instead of losing heat uh, overall over the whole year. That's why it's called a passive house. Okay, good. Okay, so the foundation here is a conventional concrete foundation. But what we did is we put 12 inches of polystyrene right around the footing, all the way around the footing, around the frost wall, and up the outside of the concrete wall. So the concrete wall is actually inside the house and in the, on the warm side of the wall. Uh, that gives us about R48 in the basement. So the house itself, uh, cost-wise, is, is going to end up about 20% more than the house if we didn't build it as an energy efficient home. And the main costs are the insulation and the windows and doors.